Who gets chocolate cravings regularly? Raise your hand. Or hit the old like button to let me know that you do. Well, today I'm making a delicious chocolate smoothie that is delicious, it's nutritious, and hey, I gotta finish the saying. It'll make you ambitious. All right, so this one is made with some really good ingredients. It is very chocolatey. You're, you're gonna think it's dessert, all right? But it's also gonna be loaded with you know some protein powder and some other things that we'll go over in a little bit, and you're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. All right, so here's our chef joke. What do you call stolen cocoa? Hot chocolate. <laughs> this is such a short video and very quick to make. Should we have a second uh, chef joke? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. And stick around to the end and see if there is another one, okay? Don't go away. Okay, we're gonna start off here. I've frozen my banana. You can do that and just keep them and have them ready to go. Add some frozen blueberries, not too many because we want this to taste like chocolate, right? And then we will add some coconut milk. This is full fat. I got this at Trader Joe's. Now for our chocolate flavor, I'm using Guitard's cocoa powder. It's unsweetened, so you can you know control the sugar in this. And I put in a couple of tablespoons. You can get the written recipe down below in the description of this video. Now for some extra fiber, I placed a couple of tablespoons of chia seeds in a coffee grinder and grinded them up to add some fiber to my drink. I toss in my chia seeds that I ground it up earlier, just so that, like I said, it's more absorbable. Get my almond butter here, and I'm just gonna, you know, just put in like a tablespoon, no big deal. I've got some protein powder, like I said, use whatever you have. And sometimes I add a little bit of ice, depending on, uh, you know, how thick I want it, and I might add a little bit of water. Okay, so I put a little handful of some chard that's already been rinsed and ready to go. And I'll throw in a few little sprouts. Sometimes I'll put in some uh, parsley, basil, I mean, just whatever I've got, you know? So just feel free to do that. And it's, like I said, it's not too much. Sometimes I stick a lot more greens in there because I'm used to it now. Um, but uh, for you guys just starting out and you want that chocolate flavor, go with that amount. I'm gonna toss in a couple of ice cubes. I'm gonna pour in just a little bit of water and I do want it thick so I won't put too much and put it on the old Vitamix and we're gonna blend away. All right, I'm sneaking in my last chef joke here just to see if you guys are still watching. All right, here we go, last one. Why did the Oreo go to the dentist? Because it lost its filling. <laughs> All right, let's give this a taste. Delicious. Thick and creamy and chocolatey. And if you wanna bump up the chocolate even more, you could add more cocoa powder or you could even add like a a chocolate bar, I get these at uh, Trader Joe's. This one's from Uganda. You can see here it's got 85% dark chocolate, very little sugar, and it's even got a fair amount of fiber, which is so good for us. You could throw in a couple of little squares of that, bump it up even more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know by uh, hitting the subscribe button, smashing the like button, leaving me a comment, any of those things. Thank you again for watching. And if you'd like to check out my apple pie smoothie, you love smoothies? That's a good one to try.